Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did some quests so like at Air of Sea. And if you're wondering why I'm not at the whatever the last potential landmark is in Air of Sea, it's because I forgot to look around last episode. But in this episode, we're here in Valak Mountain because there's a quest we can we can take. So let's see what San has to say. You really got me out of a scrape last time. Do you know what in the ruins on the Free Sage Summit? Could you go into more detail? Perhaps we can help in some way. Shulk, shall we lend a hand? Of course, I'll help any way I can. I didn't think so. Although I'm pretty sure you must have heard of the giants, right? I heard that there's a massive power left by the giant lies within the ruins. But the entrance is blocked by a sealed door. I got attacked by monsters while studying it last time. But I managed to find out, out how to open the door. I discovered that it's sealed by the mythical power of the giants. To open it, you need to eat the free treasures of the giants. The heart of the giants, the truth of the giants, and the daring of the giants. Neither of me nor Kali Arath or Korath are interested in the treasure. We just want to explore the ruins. How about it? Think you can find the treasure and open the door? I think we should be able to handle that. I'm interested in those ruins too. So you'll really do it. Looks like, like we are, are an aspiring adventurer here. Not really. I'm more interested in things like the mechanism sealing the door. Knowing things like that comes in useful for making things. I get it. It's important to understand mechanisms. You need to know about that stuff to avoid traps in ancient ruins. So, you up for the job? So we got the final giant ruins. And we happen to have the free pieces of the giants, so we can actually go there. Giant's treasure. Then you will do it. There are giant ruins all over Bionis. You might be able to find the free treasures if you check them out. Good luck. No problem, leave it to me. Yes, I will give it my all. The giant's treasures. You've collected the free treasures of the giants. You should be able to open the door now. So yeah, so if you've been following along with this project, you should have all three pieces of the giants by now. So let's head up to Free Sage Summit. Now, a bit of a warning. When you come here in Free Sage Scient, um, you want to be careful about this guy, Final uh, Magus. He is one of the game's super bosses. He is the easiest out of the super bosses. I do plan on fighting the super bosses at a later point. So unless he engages a battle with me, then I will not fight him. So I want to save him for when I go around doing the super bosses, which will be probably the one of the last couple of things I'll do before we go and fight uh, uh, Sansa. Uh, when you beat uh, Mekonis Core, uh, the super bosses will start appearing throughout Bionis. He will appear here during nighttime. Now, I will warn you, if you're doing this side quest, do n you want to be very careful coming up here if there's a blizzard, because one of the other game's super bosses happens to be here during a blizzard, and it's not a fun fight if you go into it unprepared. And also, one thing to note, Final Marcus is level 100. He is the first. He is classified as a super boss, although some people make arguments that he isn't a super boss because he is over the level cap. Because the level cap in Xenoblade Chronicles, and I think pretty much in all the Xenoblade Chronicle games, is level 99. You cannot get beyond level 99, so yeah, he. So he is definitely strong. But anyway, with the free piece of the giant, we can open the door. The door to the ruins on Free State Summit is open. Inside, a great power rests. Gives us a lot of money and experience. You can see these statues. Uh, but also be warned, because the moment you open the door, this guy will come in and chase after you. The, the invited Slarbos. Get him toppled. 
Oh, come on. How could we not continue it? Get you toppled again? A toppled days, I meant. Finish him off with a chain attack. This. So let's see what's in this chest. We get Titan Plate, Titan Greaves, Aria Drones, and Final Cut. Some pretty good weapons. And armor. Ooh, I like that on Shulk. Yeah, I think I'll have Shulk equip this. Plus damage heal. Good footing, let's see. Believe that prevents it from being knocked back. Yeah, put those on. Yeah, not bad. And I think we got, what was it, final cut? Ooh, I like the look of those blades. I don't like the stats. Plus 30 to her minimum, but a big decrease in her maximum. Yeah, don't like that. Yeah, we'll take you on at a different time, Final Market Marcus. So that's that quest done. Now there's another quest that we can go do because I haven't technically finished one of the quests on, I believe it was Bionis Leg. We go back to the refugee camp. Really found it! You're the best! I'm glad everything worked out. Excellent job, Shulk. You really grow up fast. But really? That means a lot coming from you. I won't let you down. This is the kind of flower that makes people fall in love with you. Don't you think? Oh, you thought it was for my collection. Well, um, everyone knows that there's only one thing you do with flowers. I'm in a good mood today. You deserve a nice reward. So, see you later. The ancient lily has been delivered to Duran, but what? Uh, but who will be the final recipient? After you die, he will now have another quest for you. Oh no, this isn't good. But who can I talk to? I should really have talked to a strong woman, but who? So he will only talk to, I believe, Fiora. Hello. You'll hear me out, won't you? Have you seen them? The two monsters in the Arachno Queen's nest in Tefa Cave. They are fighting each other. They might be fighting to be the, the Arachno Queen's successor. At any rate, with all the fighting, that route is totally blocked. I can't take the Ancient Lily to someone in Colony 9. Ugh. I've let it slip, haven't I? Please, tell me more. Maybe we'll be able to help. Isn't that right, Fiora? That's right. No one knows much about what's happening in there. I just need someone to kill those things for me. You look strong, can you do it? Um, I guess you could say I look strong. I suppose I could get used to not looking feminine anymore. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean just you. Don't look so down. I meant Ed, that all three of you look up to the challenge. It's okay. Can you tell us who you want uh, to give the flower to? Ugh, let's change the subject. We won't oh, do what you want if you don't tell us. Oh, please. All right, I'll tell you when you come back. It's not only me who can't get through there, you know. No one can get can come and go between colonies six and nine. So everyone's counting on you. Battling brutes, Duron on, on, on can't take the ancient little lily delivery as planned. Head to Tefa Cave and defeat the two large monsters fighting each other. So we gotta defeat the Reckless Samban, or Sanden, and defeat the Firework Ergracia. 
I know you can do it. You're the only ones who can. But make sure you be careful. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Yes, I too shall give it my all. So let's switch over. Ah, uh, there's another quest here. I'll save that for later. It would help if I remembered to go to Teffa Cave. So we need to find these two monsters and fight them. Now, he doesn't quite mention where they are. But if you remember where we fought, I believe, the Arachno Queen. Is there... Yeah, we need to get to the Arachno Queen's nest, which... Is there actually no quick way of getting there? Yeah, it looks like the closest I can get is Villa Lake. Yes, yeah, so let's go and fight the Arachno... The... Fight the Arachno Queen. Yes, we're gonna fight the Arachno Queen again. No. Let's go to the Arachno Queen's nest and deal with whoever's there. Close. Unless we defeat these two giant monsters, people can't go from Colony 6 to 9. Which, given how dangerous this route is, you would think that people would try to create, like, a different route. Probably, presumably, one that's more safer. But anyway, when you come here, look at the size of these guys! We have... That's the Rectus Southern. And over there is the... Firework Grayson. Now, they're having a stare-off right now, and apparently they're fighting over who will be the successor. Uh, be careful, because... If you're not careful, you can get both of them to fight you, and that's not fun. Alright, let's purge to get rid of your spike, because yeah, as you notice, this thing has a day spike. So this is the more annoying out of two to fight. Ah, oh, really? It got spike back? Yeah, it's definitely more annoying out of the two to fight. Because you're going to have to get used to getting days a whole lot. I didn't even attack and I got days. Guys. Light heal Fiora. Right, let's get a chain. Good, you're not immune to break. Get the days out. Right, let's keep this thing down for as long as possible. Oh great, it got back up with its spike. Did Fiora get damaged and healed at the same time? Alright, ooh, Mind Blast. Not bad. Now let's take on the final monster, Reckless Sandba Sanden. Let's get rid of your spike. I believe your spike is not as bad as the Firework Gracia, which I don't know why the spider is called Firework Gracia, of all things. Alright, let's topple you. Get the days. Alright, go for another chain. And you're as good as dead. 
just like old times. Tantrum and Infinity, not bad. Now let's head back to the refugee camp. And report this in. Actually, while I'm going over there, there's apparently a... First off, a heart-to-heart. -heart. Whoever the quest was is gone. So they must so they must only come out at night. Hello. I get my girl to give I will get Ed my girl to give you something nice. I just got to pop and up and see her. Oh, I have to speak to her at speak to her. Speak to him as Fiora to get to complete Hello. the quest. Have you killed them? Great! Now I can go to Connie 9. Oh, what a relief, and another problem solved. That's right, good job, Fiora. I'm so glad, Shulk is happy too. Maybe I can really help people. I can't get too excited yet. I still need to deliver the flower. Who is it for? You have to tell us now. Oh yeah, I'll tell you. There was a high end your girl in the camp. She was in shock about what happened and about the Telephia. She couldn't say a word, she wouldn't even tell me her name. And then she disappeared. I had to take care of the people here, but I looked everywhere for her. So she's in Colony 9 now. Yeah, she is. She never smiles and doesn't eat as well as she should. I'm really worried about her. That's why I thought a beautiful flower would cheer her up. It makes her feel better. You're so thoughtful. Well, not that thoughtful. <laughs> Let me guess, she's attractive? That's not it! Well, she is beautiful. I'm just worried about her. I think it's lovely. It's wonderful to see two different beings feel, finding happiness together. It doesn't matter to me whether she's Hyantia or Holmes. If you really like someone, you don't care what they look like. I agree. It doesn't matter. He doesn't care about her wings. I guess I shouldn't think of my body as looking that strange. You're such a kind and innocent young un woman. The moment anyone sees that smile of yours, they will be smitten. Thank you. Drop by and see me in Colony 9 if you have the time. I will be glad to see you anytime. So with that we get the Eternity Knives, Speed Frames. The monsters in Tefa Cave have been eliminated to ensure safe passage to Colony 9. And we get Fiora's Innocence skill branch, so we unlock her fifth skill branch. Let's take a look at it. Just as she completes Seal. So we'll put her down on this skill branch for a little while, and then we'll eventually complete Daring. Innocence. Prioritizing this trait will improve Aether Defense. And this will give her Maiden's Power. Improves Chain Attack damage when battle and sh with Shulk. Maiden's Courage. Increase Art Damage if warned of a vision by Shulk. Maiden's Blessing! Restores HP when taking damage when in battle with Shulk. Oh, and made it, Maiden's Seal! Prevents tension from becoming low if in, in battle with Shulk. Maiden's Miracle! Grants all stat at a buff when encouraged by Shulk. You may notice something! Her Innocence Branch involves Shulk and all of her skills are Diamond Skills, so you can't give them to anybody. So yeah, this skill branch actually plays into the fact of her feelings with Shulk and is beneficial to pair the two up when in battle with the skill branch. And it's in learning these skills. It's honestly pretty cool, and I believe that makes us that way we have everyone but Fiora's fifth skill branch. So Fiora's skill branch is unaccounted for. Let's come over here. Whose heart to heart is this? Alright, we need Ryan in the party. So let's view Heir to the Monado.
something up, Dumbben? Losing your home. Isn't it a painful experience and not lightly forgotten? The people of Colony 6 had it a rough time. Exactly. And we could have lost our homes to the Mechons just as easily. If it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for Shulk. I believe if it wasn't for Shulk, I believe is the correct answer here. I'll just quickly double check that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Air to the Monado. This thing would load any slow. There we go. Yeah, but it wasn't for Shulk. Indeed. Shulk taking the Monado in hand was a decisive moment. If he hadn't come to that, we would probably have lost everything. It's a miracle that the Monado was in the colony at all. If it hadn't been, our homes would be no doubt be piles of rubble now. Just like Colony 6. When I think of those walking piles of scrap ruining our homes. God, it makes my blood boil. I find it hard to imagine living here in such danger as Charlotte did. Revenge kept her going. Hope kept her going. Hope? That is a rare thing among us harms of late. Charlotte was looking after the camp, waiting for Gatto to return. That's what kept her going. The hope of rebuilding the colony together with him. You may be right. Sounds like you know a lot about Charla. She's strong, that woman. Stronger than I'll ever be. She's more fragile than she looks. It doesn't take much to break her will. But you could be the one to peck her, pick her back up again. What? Me? Now you're just talking crazy, Dunban. I just have a feeling about you. Just keep that at, him, at fault in mind. Um, changing the subject. Why don't you help out with Colony 6 reconstruction? They could do with a helping hand from a genuine hero. When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Let's get to it, Ryan. That one's a pretty nice one. Now, there's supposed to be a quest over here. Who's the quest giver? Okay, that little kid, I want to save his quest for later. Now, two things. That's all the quests I want to do in this episode, so two things I want to do. I think it's time that we finally deal with a monster that many people have been avoiding in this area. Presuming, there he is. Let's go kill him. And then I want to go to uh, Machna Forest to kill a monster, because I think I'm going to need some, uh, one of its items for a quest later. Let's take on the t Territorial Robot. A ro- Yo. Robot. Anyway, let's go beat it up. You plagued many players at the beginning of the game. Time to get revenge. <laughs> okay, it's really confused on who it wants to target. Bonus staff and eclipse armor. Now let's go to Machna Forest and find another high level enemy. Do, 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 do. Now, where are those big giant dinos? I want to fight one because I think it drops either good items or I need an item for, from it for a quest later down the line. Where is it? It should be around here, shouldn't it? There it is. The Dinos Sablos. Let's take it on. Don't hold back. Get a good backslash on it. Let's go for a chain. Topple. Really? 
That's all for our chain attack. Love that I have max affinity, and yet I am barely getting long chain attacks. And it's already gotten back up. Let's go chain. Get a get dazed. Leave it to me. Good job, everyone. Perfect. Really, only a regular chest? I was hoping for at least a medium or gold. Ah, uh, well, that I think we'll end the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll probably do some more quests around the Bionis. I think we should have... I think by now we've taken out a majority of quests, so yeah. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I will see you all next time. Later!